My name is Chris Palmer with chrispalmer.org. What we're going to go ahead and do tonight is a brief live stream. I have a few things that I would like to address uh, first and foremost. Uh, but then what I would like to do is have a topic that's related to a conversation that I had with Clint Butler related to Black Hat SEO. So currently I'm in Arizona for a SEO conference. The conference's name is SEO Spring Training. So Terry Samuels is putting on spring training. I'll be speaking in a day related to testing and what we're doing daily. Today we went to a baseball game um, and I had a lot of very interesting conversations, more so. Um, Life's better when you're under our roof. Bundle your home and auto with American the Family Insurance. Adds to me while I'm doing my life. Now that is interesting. Okay. <laughs> In any case, so that's going to be the main conversation. I'm going to go ahead and find where the uh, chats are, chat viewing. Too much noise. Well, the noise there are tech innovations by Amir. Uh, the noises were a advertisement on another tab. <laughs> so uh, I do apologize for this. Hey, Chris, good to see you. It's great to see you. So I'm going to go ahead and put the live chat up so I, we can communicate with one another. It says there's nobody here. Uh, but I don't know if I believe that. So I don't know what's better. Should I do it this way or should I keep it this way? I, I don't know. So uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. But the, a, a really nice conversation that I had um, most notably uh, was related to business and the SEO business. I had a long conversation with Gregory Ortiz. He committed. I'm going to be able to have him come in. He did a lot of... Uh, he was with SourceWave. He did some stuff with uh, OMG. He had a lot of really good information to chat about privately, uh, but I got him to commit to come on and do a live with me, so that'll be cool. Maybe I'll have him come to the mastermind. Um, I had some really nice conversations with Dory Friend. I uh, talked to her for like 40 minutes on the bus. That was um, enlightening. But more about business, the business aspect, trainings, courses, uh, links, you know, being able to help clients at the highest level, which to me is, is, a, is a primary objective at this point. Hey, Chris, uh, where can I buy the best citations for Rank and Rent website? Oh, yeah. Feel free to get your questions in here. I, I just like the chat. I wasn't able to optimize the video. I'm away. I don't have my laptop. I'm just on an iPad. Um, so the best citations, you know, everybody and their uncle's cousin offer citations. And the reason that that is, is because anybody could create a citation. Now, I've seen all different price points. You know, if you want to go to some of the quote unquote top shelf people, they charge a top price for the same product. You, you know, you can pay $2 per unit at places like White Spark or Bright Local. Um, what I wouldn't recommend doing is going on to, not to disparage against any type of sellers that are on these platforms, but a lot of sellers that are on say sites like Fiverr are actually selling directories and web 2.0s. So they'll bundle up 350 or 150, 200, these huge astronomical numbers for very cheap. And what you get back oftentimes is web 2.0s and directories. So what I would do is I would take a look at some of the known lists for top 50, top 60, top 100 in your country and see who's willing. Hey, G-Man, who is willing to do the best citations for the lowest cost? Because for us, and for me, and for you, hopefully, for me, it's all about cost to benefit ratio, right? Like what's, what's the cost and what's the value? I want low cost, high value. So I want to build the best ones for the cheapest cost. And that's what we provide. I went out there and figured out, well, who, what's the best list? What does the market conceive as the best list? And who has that list available? I went out there 
grab that list for general citations and we build those. There's about a hundred good citations. Some citations are very difficult to get for a third party builder. Um, such as like your Apple Maps, your Google Business Profile, and these. Get your questions in. I'll start banging them out. I have, I'm here to help. Um, if you'd like to debate Black Hat SEO is dead, I, I'm super open to that. Uh, that came about because of a conversation I had with Clint Butler today. You know, him and I were speaking about. So anyway, <laughs> I hope hopefully I addressed your question about the citations. <laughs> the really really hard ones like. Uh, your Google business profiles. Let me see if I could get this chat. I saw a chat message, but then it went away. Let me see if I could get this to pop up. Okay, great. So G-Man, great to see you. Finally, I catch you live after six months of following you. <laughs> well, G-Man, get your questions in. See if there's anything that I could help you with. My my true objective is to help you as much as I possibly can. Um, and that's it. I, I mean... See, what I've quickly realized after doing this, you know, I, I've been educating on YouTube now. I started in 2016. So what I've learned from 2016 until now is that there's there's multiple modes of SEO. Um, but most notably, you know, you have to educate. You have to educate because there's a lot... Most people are educating in order for the sale. Um, you know, they'll, they'll package something up in order to sell on a high ticket item. It's a bunch of things grouped together that are going to give you this amazing result for some astronomical number. Um, so I've been trying to break down each of the elements on page, off page, technical, um, and giving people the pieces. You know, I like the tricks too. But uh, like, like I mentioned before our talk, you know, 5% of what we actually do for clients is the tricks or the black hat or the gray hat. Like I need a repeatable, dependable strategy that I can guarantee a result because that's how you earn, right? So, okay, let's, let's answer your questions. I, I think we have enough here now to start. So I don't, I'm not ignoring you. I was just waiting for questions to come. <laughs> All right. What's really distracting me, I'm going to be honest here, is I'm looking at you but the camera's here. So usually when I have my camera, I'm gonna see if I could flip this. Can I flip this? Rotate device back. So orientation is locked, okay. So I guess I am stuck. Oh, apologies. Okay, I, I truly apologize. As some of my closet fans would say, so unprofessional. <laughs> oh, you guys like this picture? I was getting lonely in here. I was making some extra slides for my presentation. I had a basic outline lined up. So what I was doing, why I'm up right now, because technically back home it's like 12 o'clock or something. I guess I'm always up at this time. Uh... I was like, ah, man, I want to add a little bit more value. But okay, so we have our questions here. I'm going to go ahead and answer those. I went to Walmart with my friend Dre. He runs the SEO video show. So Dre and I took some Ubers up to Walmart. So we were sipping. Uh, I got a whole batch of ghost energy. So I am up, <laughs> in case you're wondering. All right, anyway. All right, so I'm going to start back up here as ASIF. Finally, I catch you. Asif says that's true. Um, then we come into SEO Bright Minds. So SEO Bright Minds says, hey, Chris, I'm testing CTR manipulation on Amazon now. Does it work? Um, I, I'm not in a position to say one way or another. Um, I, I, I'm not in a position to speak on that. So I, I don't I can't say for sure. I don't know. All right, so let's see here. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the, remember I'm on an iPad. I'm not on my computer at home like usual or in my office or I'm about to sit outside though. It's hot as banana chips in here. So, hey Chris, I'm testing. Um, so Mick Zala says, hey Chris, just discovered you 
Yeah, BC, the algorithm knew I started a new job, a marketing specialist, electrical contracting company. Question, do you have any tips for for the specific industry? So you're a electrical contracting company, uh, specifically YouTube video content creation for elect electrical contractors and SEO involved. Okay. So... There's there's a couple of things. There's there's a lot of questions there. To be quite frank, um, the SEO for almost every site that's targeting a local market is almost the same. Figure out what your primary terms are. Figure out what your main informational queries are, and create content around that. What's my high commercial intent keywords? What are the questions that are surrounding that? Okay, now I have my organic done. At least in the first year. The next steps are each channel, LinkedIn is a channel, YouTube is a channel, uh, Twitter might be a channel, Reddit is a, is a channel. Each of these platforms have a different mode of people understanding content, right? So Twitter is little bursts of nonsense. I dislike Twitter immensely, but hey, there might be an audience there. YouTube is generally for me informational pieces. So can I create information about my products and push it out there? Where people generally will get discouraged or business owners get discouraged is you're talking to an ultra subset of people, right? And when your video does 12 views or your Twitter post gets 92 impressions, oh, this, this isn't working. But it, it, it's one person at a time, one potential customer at a time. So what I would do is look at each of the platforms, just, just to be able to get to the next question here. Look at each of the platforms and how can you convey what you do and how you do it and why you're the best to the end user that's platform specific. If it's Twitter, how can I create six comments a day in order to talk to these people? Is there information around the products or services that I provide that I can produce at least once a day for YouTube? I would look at each platform, figure out the way to communicate or convey a message, and then produce content around that. That's my best advice. It's, <coughs> it's all, it's quite simple. It's the actual, the motion of actually doing it and not finding success right away is when people fail. So I hope that helps you out. All right, bringing back up the messages. Okay. What is a citation? Um, so a citation is a digital reference of a business, name, address, phone number, website. Um, it's a digital reference of a business. It's like uh, the white pages of the internet, okay? G-Man, hey, Chris, uh, can, you, can you point, can, can you at some point make a video explaining how to structure a site and what type of content does the home page and the service page is supposed to have? Is the local SEO on additional supporting pages? I showed a recent client. I got the green light from a client that we worked with. Okay. Now, it, you know, we finished the project, I believe, about 41 days ago. All right. And his name's Chris. This was the last project. See, I work with, we generally, it varies month to month. But let's just say we, we intake a new client each month, at least one. Right. If it's a good month, <laughs> not every month, um, one-off services, we are able to perform. I've been very lucky with that as long as we run ads, but what I'm getting at is not every client will allow me to show progress, but the last client, Chris, he's, everything is on the up and up. We did nothing wrong. He owns the business. He has a real GMB. Like there's nothing that anybody could hurt him for, Right. With that being said, if you're looking at some of the work that we did and see some of the results, we just did alligator pools in Miami. Uh, Miami pool resurfacing, uh, Miami pool repair, um, along with other uh, locations as well, like Coral Gables, but it's alligator pools. If you search for uh, Miami pool repair, you can take a look. In my opinion, for a local website, the homepage should be branded. Now, what I'm quickly... Not quickly, but what I'm seeing is, is different markets get rewarded in different ways. Now, what I mean by this is homepages, no matter what, are branded. 
because your brand needs to be synonymous with the services that you provide. So the brand is synonymous with, in this case, pool care, right? So homepage is about me. So when I do my first forward slash and I create informational content, that's about the brand. This information is supporting the brand, okay? Now, what I'm starting to see and why I'm saying, hey, different industries get showcased in different ways. I had a, I do a lot of, um, we sell a lot of home leads. Like that's a lot of home leads, okay? Um, what we quickly learned is we were doing regular structuring in some states. And, and what I mean by regular structuring is, is you have website.com forward slash we buy houses, Alabama. And then you would do forward slash we buy houses, Alabama, forward slash we buy houses, a city in Alabama. Now, some states don't reward that third structure right away. They'll reward off the root, but you still have to have a top level page. So what I'm getting at is just because you see success on one site doesn't mean that every single principle or every single structure has to follow that. I've won with flat structure and I've won with hard silos. Both work is what I'm getting at here. Okay. I've won with both. All right. The next project that we're doing, I just turned on a uh, gentleman. He's in Seattle, Washington. He has a construction business. We're redoing his assets flat. Um, either him or FCS, it's a um, foundation repair company. If, if I get that job for foundation repair, he's going to let me showcase the work that we do. And I'll probably do, I've been inspired. There's a gentleman here on uh, YouTube. I like what he's doing. He's friends with my friend, uh, James DeLacy. James DeLacy, he's, what's his name? Jackie, Jackie. I like his concept of building in the public. So I'm, I'm, li I'm liking of taking a client from the very beginning and then, okay, here's what we're gonna do. Not the nuts and bolts of every day of creating the content, but okay, hey, in our content plan this week, here's the keyword research we did. Okay, here's what we did the second week. Okay, here, we're gonna upload the content, take care of internal links. I wanna show that from beginning to end. I think that would be wildly beneficial for any business owner. Um, but I got, let me get the green light first. All right, because I actually have some really good law firm clients, but I can't show that stuff because I can't have any risk. You see what I'm saying? I can't have, uh, yeah, I have some crazy rankings, um, but I'm, I'm terrified to show the sites because it's such a competitive market. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, let's keep going. And all of that came from, hey, uh, <laughs> that question that you asked, um, what site content? It just spawned a whole lot of thoughts. Uh, pages are also on the front of uh, pages or also the front end pages. Uh, homepage and service pages. Okay, so G-Man, to elaborate on that question there or the end, you know, uh, what type of content does the homepage and service page is supposed to have? Okay, homepage is about your brand. Service pages or high commercial intent pages are about your product. Location pages are about your product plus location. Very, very, see, there's a lot of people out here talking. They have different terms and different ways to explain and there's different courses and trainings and, you know, it, I don't want you to get confused. Homepage brand. Primary service pages, service plus location, and then you build information to support the main concept. As long as you have those pieces of content, you know, even if you jack up the, all the foundation, but you get the internal linking right and you have the right pages, you'll still find success if you give it enough time. Like, I was chatting with a, a gentleman, uh, Randy, Randy Roday. We were talking about uh, affiliate products like affiliate uh, sites and like the timeline's eight months. Like there's no question. There's, there's absolutely no question. You might get some initial wins, but you need about eight months to really take a new site and find really nice success in harder competition markets. Anyway, uh, tech innovation. Let me grab my uh, Zen here. Give me one second.
All right, I'm back. Oh. Yeah, I was working on my slide. I was looking for a way to showcase some of my tests. So I, I wanna, the site, the front end is almost done. So we're taking care of the front end. I wanted to have a pretty design, but um, we're launching out search engine optimization tools.com. Pretty cool name, right? Can't get that wrong. Search engine optimization tools.com. So what I'm doing is once we have the front end done, it's going to look sick. Um, the first thing we're going to do is a free giveaway. I have a geolocation changer um, extension. And then we're going to take, I have some cool stuff in the pipeline. I, I want to help you guys. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I needed somebody to talk to, so I'm feeling chatty. <laughs> All right, let's see here. All right, so plantation, plantation pursuits. Is there a way to keep this visible at all times? No? Zin, good man. Thank you, Brandon. Uh, all right. All right, so I lost, okay, so Plantation Pursuits, if these messages keep uh, going away, I have to like keep my finger on the screen. It's, you know, <laughs> distracting. I lost my $90,000 site in this update with manual penalty. Is anything I can do to rank it again? Um, of course there is, um, but I, I would... I'm sure you've already realized this. The probability of you ever getting back what you had previously is highly unlikely. You'll regain a lot of it back, but I, I've, I have seen far more websites that have gotten manual actions or algorithmic penalties not go back to their past glory than I have actually come all the way back and then start doing better. I've seen sites recover, but not all the way, and they've never exceeded what they were doing previously. So, um, I, yeah, I mean, and you lost a nine, 90K a month, gross, net. Um, what, what does that mean exactly? You know, like, what I, if, if you're asking, should you go back out there? and refreshing your content, what whatever the issue was, you know what the problem was, plantation pursuits. Should you go back out there and try to recapture what was lost or at least salvage whatever you can? Of course, it's a no-brainer. But I don't know, is that 90K a year, 90K a month, 90K a week? Is that profit? Is that, you know, so... All right, tech innovations. I redact. I redirect the slash courses page to service page pages. Okay, I don't know what that's in reference to, but okay. You got my money. Late night stream. Night shift is the right shift. Why? Thank you, sir. Ah, you got my money. You 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 bring me to another concept I want to touch on. I was I did uh, Craig Campbell's live today. And there was a young lady in there. I believe it was a lady. Who, who knows, really? But it doesn't matter. But her name was Tanya. It was in the live stream today. And she was debating me on PageRank. So I don't know if she was confu confusing PageRank as in rankings in SERPs. But what I was referencing was actual PageRank. And it, even John Mueller said... You know, page rank isn't passed through traffic, and traffic has nothing to do with page rank. In fact, I roughly quote what he said, and he's like, he's like, does traffic, traffic doesn't matter for passing page rank. In, in fact, see, it drove me so crazy. Um, that was going to be the topic of today, because I was like, I, I guess I just couldn't convey, um, 
I hate I hate an argument about something that's readily available. Um, I guess it's not an argument. It's just a small debate, right? But here, I, I just want to point something out. I had to go double verify for myself and then for you. And yes, I completely understand that there's multiple filters on the search algorithm. And yes, we don't use page rank completely anymore, but there are some parts. And yes, it's evolved over the years. I get it. I know. Uh, however, I, I just want to point this out, right? So in abstract, PageRank assigns important ranks to nodes in a linked database, such as any database of documents containing citations. The World Wide Web or any other hypermedia database, the rank assigned to a document is calculated from the ranks of the documents that are citing it. The rank is, is calculated by the other sites that are, that are citing it. In addition, the rank of a document is calculated from a constant representing the probability that a browser through the database will randomly jump to a document. The probability that, a, that the browser, the crawler, Google, is going to find the other site. Now, how would a browser or a Google spider find another site? Is it? by crawling websites and finding hyperlinks. That's how. Google is a spider. It crawls websites. It goes from one website to another, 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 to another. That's what it does. So in any case, I wanted to clarify that. <laughs> I wanted to make that clear. Traffic has nothing to do with PageRank, and PageRank is not derived from traffic. It's the probability that the link will be clicked. What increases the probability of a click? Having more links. If I have more people that are linking to me, the probability of me actually generating an actual view skyrockets through the roof. Okay, enough about that. It, it goes on more. At, at no time is now with newer updates, but I think she was confused with page rank as in ranking in the SERP as opposed to what I was speaking about, which was a expired uh, patent, which doesn't matter. Uh, but it does to me because this is my life. <laughs> All right. Anyway. All right. Sharif says, hey, Chris, we had an appointment last week. And you were really helpful. Just wanted to thank you again. Sharif, I, I'm i glad to help, brother. I mean, that's my... See, th there's a gentleman. I won't speak of his name, right? There, There's him and another guy. They have tools, right? And, like, I, I, I don't know... I tried to convey that like we all regardless of our business want to be able to earn but in order to be able to earn you have to be able to help my business is ex executing fires for business owners right like that's that's my only objective my objective is to take the hardest most horrible work that you don't want to do or you just don't have the skills or the time or the effort and be able to do it fast efficient and for a fair price that's it. And then I need to know what the difference between good and bad is. And that could be anything. That could be on page. That could be technical. That could be the SEO. That could be the ads going to a specific page. It's endless. So yeah, I don't know. We didn't see eye to eye on that. Um, I think, I don't know. I don't know. I, I didn't, I didn't like their vibes, man. I didn't like their vibes. I like the, the little guy's vibe. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't matter. All right. Hey, Chris. Um, okay, here we go. Going down. You got my money, Sharif. Glad to help you. Uh, Sibareth says, bro, can I use CAPTCHA AI plus S5 GSASCRSCR list after March 5th update to rank in the top three? 
can I use CAPTCHA AI plus S5 residential proxies plus GSA, SER, and an SER list? After March 5th core and spam update to rank in the top three. You can't do any one thing and rank in the top three. So in that instance, no. Um, hey, Chris, I own a Google My Business and I just bought a pack off Fiverr for ranking the business. It was a citation pack with some map pins and some web 2.0s. How do you feel about these packs? I think that they are, okay, let's, let's dissect this slightly. Um, do I think that having a my map to map directions uh, for maybe your website or for a blog post or maybe you're, you're keeping track of your work and maybe you showcase that, you know, for the end user, it's giving value to the end user and having that on your site could convey some type of value. Yes. Do I think it's good to have one my map, at least put your pin on the map and say, hey, that's my business, maybe even add it to Google Earth? Definitely. But do I think that creating a plethora of my map pins itself is a ranking signal? I do not. Now, do I, do I like making those pins on the map? creating a locational sitemap to upload into my backend on my server in order to be able to convey to Google that, hey, here's my service area. Yes, I do. And then take those geo coordinates and make scheme out of it for the best clients that are able to afford that type of work. Definitely. So that's that. The next thing that you asked about was uh, Web 2s. Do I think that individual Web 2s are going to convey some sort of value. Minuscule. Where I feel that the value is, is capturing your own name on high authoritative websites, most notably the web twos that are based on a specific niche. And what I mean by this is Google allocates so much SERP space to a web 2.0 because there's so many of them, right? So if you're able to figure out what are the best web 2.0s, and then create those assets that are branded? Is there a value there? Definitely, no question. Now, what we do is, because we're all SEOs and we're, hey, we want fast, easy, quick. Instead of searching and finding them, you find the best ones and you just build the whole list because you can build the whole list for 20 bucks, right? That's what we do. We'll take the list of 50 or 100 or whatever whatever they want and we'll make branded assets and then link back to our pages. Now I have branded assets that are connected to my website. Is there value there? Like we talked about at the beginning of this conversation, to me, it's a value cost. What's the value of this? And then what's my cost? Does the value exceed the cost? Yes. Okay, then that, let's do it. Very simple. All right, so hopefully that helps you out. All right. Um, uh, thank you for your detailed answer, buddy. It's my pleasure. Uh, retirement planner, so is Black Hat actually dead? <sighs> True Black Hat, at least in my current stage of, of the business and SEO, is dead. Um, like my days of trying to allocate links hidden in code um, or through a back door or doing anything that could ever put myself or my clients at risk is done. Now, with that being said, there's many modes or thoughts of Black Hat in my opinion, Black Hat SEO is not only against Google's book, but it's against the book, the rule book, okay? So have I, or do I know anybody that has dabbled in the, the fine art of Black Hat? Maybe, perhaps. Um, but at this current stage in my life and um, in business, 
the the risk is not worth it back to the cost value to cost the the cost is far too high for what i get back in return there's many more ways to do things um so in that instance in my personal opinion yes true black hat for me is dead i it just negative in negative out bad in bad out right so that's that. And then uh, Clint and I were having a talk about that. He's done superpower. He used to, ha I, I don't know if I can mention this, but he had some big terms national, right? Um, and what we were talking about is, hey, you know, like I, I have some very good law firm clients. We do very, very well in the home space. And what I do on a day-to-day -day basis is pretty much by the book. Um, like I have, we have a repeatable process. Like it, like we very rarely, unless we test something and there's something new to implement. <sighs> I don't, we, you know, we don't, I'm not taking a chance. I need a guaranteed repeatable result, you know, now on test assets or, or like my own stuff, not so much on my own stuff. Now I've burnt down numerous sites. Um, in my lifetime, <laughs> uh, I've burnt dozens of GMBs. I learned a lesson with the GMBs. You know, I had a G, I had a verified Google business profile in almost every major city in the United States, Phoenix, Houston, uh, Orlando, Fort Worth, New York city, Philly, like all of them, Vegas, all over all over the place. Um, two Google Maps updates ago, what I quickly realized though, well, that's another talk for another day. Let's, let's answer your questions. Uh, how old are you, Chris? How old do you think I am, Robbie Meadows? Why are you... Why are you asking me cop questions? <laughs> um, how old do you think I am, Robbie? Oh, uh, gee, man, my brother, what happens when you are trying to do local SEO on an island where the service is art workshop? Do I do neighboring island locations as well? My confusion is because clients have to come to you. Weird scenario. So if, let's say we're on an island, you know, a good friend of mine, he lives in Bali. Um, and what he does is he does tours for waterfalls. All right. Um, now I, I know that's not related to you. I also, um, I have a gentleman that lives in, I think it's Hawaii. Um, what you'll know is there, there are central cities or towns for the area because if you're on an island there might be little neighborhoods um but there's there's only a few central locations right little towns or villages whatever you want to call them where the actual people are right there might be some uh side neighborhoods but really at the end of the day they know where this city is Everybody's looking right here. That's where all the businesses are. That's where, that's where it's at. What I would do is I would focus on the central points. If it's an island and most clients have to come to me, where are they coming from? Are they coming from other islands? How far are they traveling? I would look at Google Maps and what has Google outlined as central points, not neighborhoods, towns, cities, and that's where I would allocate my dollars, my time, and my resources. I hope that helps you. All right, just curious. 34. Yep, close, man. Pretty close. Very, very, very close. A little older, but yep. I'm just curious. You definitely have a high IQ. <laughs> Maybe. Um See this this is that's that's interesting. I don't know if we're you're joking, but either way, it, it's I appreciate you. 
Um, I know this, right? But I find myself doing other tasks, right? Um, and, and you ever do something and just feel like dumb? You know what I'm saying? Like, you could, you could be hyper, hyper educated, smart, you know, like, you know, well-spoken, well-read, you know, your stuff at your work, but you ever just doing simple tasks, like for instance, uh, the, the water thing, right? <laughs> I, I don't know, just small little tasks. You ever just run into little things and you're like, oh man, why didn't I know this? Just weird little things. Uh, but anyway, thank you for your compliment. You are 37. I am 38. That's right. No other questions. Wow. Well, oh, oh, is the camera over here? <laughs> I thought it was over here. Okay. I didn't know. Sorry about that. See, there's something <laughs> like what? I didn't even know it was right there. Uh, anyway, uh, all right. So I don't know how I missed this. Chris, you're my favorite. What's your favorite not SEO tools? Example, Canva, Neuron Writer. Okay, I missed some questions here. Um, I don't use Neuron Writer. Uh, I like Canva. Um, OBS Studio. Um, Collaboratory, Google Collab. Um, Google Slides, Google Docs. Um, Non-SEO tools. Uh, Lightning. It's called uh, Lightning or Bolt. It's for editing video. I like to use that. It does the chops pretty good. Um, I'm trying not to do that. Uh, I try to just keep everything raw. Um, just because that's what I always liked. I personally never liked polished video uh, from people. Like if I'm watching something, I like it to be raw. Um, but that's just, it's just me. I, I produce what I like. Um, so yeah, I, I don't, I don't know off the top of my head, but OBS, I use that lightning a lot. I do use Canva quite consistently for certain things. Um, I don't know, man. I, I, I know a lot of tools that I don't like. <laughs> oh, um, I use Cora on a very consistent basis. Um, so for projects that I'm working on, see how we assign jobs at my agency are, depending on what the client is, depends on what level of care is needed, right? There's only a select few clients that I actually have and I have to maintain personally, right? Most clients, my brother and my I don't want to say team because I, I always hear people say that and it makes me cringe. Um, my staff, I guess. Um, my brother, Tammy, Dave, Andrea, Bay, Angelica. Um, my help. You know, my squad. Uh, a lot of times it's my brother manages a lot of the stuff. Um I forgot where we were going with this. I, I forget what the question was. <laughs> oh, we were talking about tools. All right. Building links. All right, let's go back. Uh Oh, Cora. So that's what I was getting at. For the stuff that I have to manage, we are, I manually count. Now, when I have a really hard question, like I, I just can't, un I can't see the angle. I'll use Cora. Uh, for most clients that aren't by me or it's just like, you know, just regular, you know, they just want 
basically uh, inexpensive, but they want a result when it comes to content, we generally look for a page optimizer. So uh, myself, I manually counter use Quora. M vast majority of, you know, basic local client stuff, uh, page optimizer for content. We really like that. Not Neuron. Not a fan of Neuron. I like a lot of their usage that they were doing. Uh, like with the bulk stuff. I think that's cool. But um, yeah, that's about it. All right. Sorry, these these questions leave, and then I forget that there's questions. All right, thanks, man. You're 37. No, I'm 38. Uh, are you still building links to GMBs? All right, let's. I'll I'll answer that for you in a second. That's gonna be a a small piece of my presentation. After the talk, and I figure out if they're selling the video or not. I'll probably do a, another presentation. Usually after I do a presentation, I share it here on YouTube. I think this time what I'll do is I'll share my slides because tomorrow I'm not hosting my main mastermind because I'll be at the conference. But after the conference, I will be holding my YouTube mastermind. So that'll be super cool. And I think I'll probably share my slides. All right. All right. For YouTube content, what do you do for editing? I, I don't. I don't. Uh, like I was mentioning before, I don't know what the question was. I, I like raw, plus it's time. Um, I'm not looking for the person that values uh, a polished product. I'm looking for a person that values my time and the information. Um, could I hire somebody to polish the videos? Of course I could. Anybody could. Anybody could throw money out the door. Um, I choose not to, uh, personally. Now, there will be sometimes I'll upload certain things in order to chop the video, you know, like to take some cuts out. Other than live streams, though, I pretty much already, I make bullet points before I talk. I don't script anything. I just, I know this stuff. So if it's a main video, I don't really have too many ums and uhs. On these streams, I might because I'm, you know, answering questions. I'm thinking, you know. So but anyway, Melody Music, do you have any general tips for GMB? I am a landscaping business trying to get some calls. I was told by an SEO that the GMB booster pack would be good. Thus, I bought the pack. Any other GMB tips? I don't know what a booster pack is. But what I do know is I'm hot and I'm going to open this door. What, you know what I know? It's another weird thing. I, I, was, I was looking around, right? What I think is... Oh, wow, it's so nice out here. Okay, I'm in a desert, right? Um, water here is cheaper than back in Philly, right? I was like blown away. See me, if, if, if I was the owner of this desert and I had all these people, like clearly it's hard to get water here, right? Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what the heck? I don't think I would live here, dude. You can't even drink, like the dude told me I can't even drink the water. I was ch I've been chugging bottles, you know? If, if you know me, you know that I'm a very frugal guy. Regardless of whatever the income range is, I always um, stay well below uh, what 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 the income range is, you know. So like buying b bottles, I don't know. I, I, that's craziness, <laughs> you know. All right. Anyway, let's let's move on. Oh, I'll try to keep my hand out of there. All right. So, do you have any general tips? Ah, so I want to help this guy. All right. All right. So sorry. I had to open that, dude. It's so hot in here. I'm in a desert. So, um, all right. So are you still building? All right. I want to go back to that business owner. I would like to answer that question. And then, of course, get your questions in. 
uh, this conversation totally <laughs> went off kilter of what, what I was hoping to do. It doesn't matter. My goal is to only help. Um, so let me find that. I'm going to try to keep my finger on here so it doesn't go away. I dislike this about this tablet. Um, dang it, where did that business thing go? All right, anyway. Ah, do you have any general tips for GMB? I am a landscaping business trying to get some calls. I was told by an SEO that the GMB booster pack would be good. Thus, I bought the pack. Any other GMB? Okay. All right. So, booster pack, I have no idea what that is. Um, a coined service that... I, I, I don't know what that is. Uh, but what I can say is you're trying to get phone calls. Now, most of the time when I'm talking to local business owners in the digital age, right? They are heavily focused on Google Maps. Um, and then also on top of that, their organic website. Where they fail to, where they, where they also slip is when you're trying to get, be synonymous with the services that you provide, right? Any top performer their top traffic comes in for their name, right? So if I want to be a top player, I need people looking for me, okay? So where I always notice local businesses that are targeting a select market or a state or only like a city and a few towns that are all in the same like 30 mile, 40 mile radius, I'm like why aren't, why not mailers? Mailers get people looking for your brand coming to your website, why not half page newspaper ads on Saturday or Sunday? What, well, you know, old school stuff like I, you know, this was brought even more to light when I started working with a few law firms and they run billboards like clockwork. Like billboards, ads, and maps are top performing, top, top shelf for producing actual phone calls and and producing cases for the end of the year. So like that opened my eyes. Not only that, I still do work with Jody and Sean. I still do work at Integrated Marketing Solutions. We do dinner parties um, and we'll also send out mailers for, um, it, it changes, but let's just say it's a eight day, seven night cruise, right? We'll still drop mail pieces, okay? They drop mail pieces offering an eight day, seven night, all inclusive paid cruise where meals, drinks, entertainment, onboard entertainments included. All you have to do is pay for taxes, right? Taxes, and then there's a few blackout dates. Like, how many times have you heard that pitch? And they get a flood. Dude, if we drop 50,000 mail pieces, that phone will be ringing off the hook, ringing off the hook for, th and for two shifts, enough for two shifts. Two shifts of people of four. So what I'm getting at here is if you want your phone to ring, yes, focus on all of the angles. Focus on organic. Focus on your maps. Focus on PPC or LSA ads, right? Get on YouTube. Go to other social media platforms. Reddit and LinkedIn are excellent right now. Excellent. Phenomenal sources. But get your eggs in a few baskets. Also, Everybody always says, oh, don't run banner ads. I work with a, it's a auto, he's an, he does, he does auto repair, right? For Beamers, Porsches, all high-end stuff. One of his highest performing advertisements is banner ads. Banners. Anybody who has touched that website, retargeting them or anybody that looks like them. And then on top of that, anybody that in the last 60 days has searched for anything to do with Beamer, Range Rover, anything like that, he's hitting them. And then too, you can get targeted media on specific sites. Like once you know what your customer avatar is, you know what sites they're going to, you can follow them all around the web. So all I'm getting at is, yeah, I love SEO. Don't get me wrong here. I love organic. I love maps. I love video. I love audio. Those are all channels or all avenues. 
but I really, really like traditional media is highly effective because the competition is so low. Yes, there's more eyeballs digitally, no question. But if you want your phone to ring in an area, drop mail, do billboards, newspaper ads. I'm just saying. I know it sounds crazy from an, the SEO guy, right? Highly effective, highly effective. All right, anyway, let's move on. Okay, so the next one comes from Bradley. Are you still building links to GMBs? I'm trying to alternate between the CID and Maps URL. Any adv advice on ways to outrank the sites with tons of reviews? Um, no one thing is going to help you get success. It's a series of things, okay? So when it comes to GMBs, yes, links not to the CID. I would steer clear of that. In every single instance, that's one of the tests that we do every year is CID, CID, CID. Where would a normal person, like how would this, I just want, just ask yourself this. Other than an SEO person, you, me, whomever else maybe might see this, where does a normal person get a CID URL from? Where does it come from? Right? So it, it, it's, it never shows up. And we can't use share links because they're dynamic. Right? So what I would be looking for is what are static URLs that are easily accessed between one to three clicks from the asset? Right? Like what URLs are always static, are always there, and they're easily found at between one and three clicks from the actual asset. That's where you send links. Um, I forget the second part of the question. All right. Um, so am I still build, building links? Yes, there's no question. Now, reviews, see, reviews are part of our process, okay? We're going to optimize the profile, optimize category, service, product, right? Optimize images, optimize the description, um, and then we're going to optimize the website, right? When that's done, we start running branded impressions, impressions at a very high volume in bursts. On top of that, then we start running CTR, click through. Actual clicks, actual clicks that are going to perform a conversion action. A conversion action could be click the call button, make a phone call, send a message, uh, look at a review, follow the website, you know, things along these lines. It's an actual action. So impressions, actual conversion actions, and then on top of that, um, we're pushing in reviews. Depending on the budget, of the client, that could be anywhere between one to four a week. All right, plus any organic that we can that they can generate. All right, uh, but the thing with the reviews is, if there's not already, if it's not already an established business, it hasn't been on the map at least six months. It doesn't have at least five to seven reviews already. You know, if their last review was a year ago, and they're barely getting any branded, there's like nobody looking for them. You start leaving reviews, you're going to get cracked. They're going to get removed. Um, so that's bad for selling them, but they're good. that's good for the business. Because what you'll notice is if if you go leave, you could test this for yourself. If you go into your uh, account and leave yourself a review, Google doesn't show it visibly, but you go into the account where you left that review, that review is still live. That review still has a reviewer ID. That reviewer ID is a machine readable entity ID. That name, that review is still attached to that business, which means they've logged it. It's still sitting on their servers. Why, why would Google still value that? Why would Google still have that on the actual board? Like why, why would they even have that on their server? Right? Because it's still there and it still passes, but you can't sell that. Right, and and that's a problem that we ran into. For getting results, it doesn't matter if they're visible or not. Uh, for actually selling a review, it has to be visible. 
you know, because people, you know, for clients that it doesn't matter because I'm, I'm selling a result. I'm not selling a service. I'm selling you an end result, right? So I start firing in reviews. They don't show up. What, what the heck do we care? They'll still get the email, but then they'll go in and check and it'll be gonzo, you know? Uh, but in any case, let's, let's, I, I'm waiting for some reviews. Shuttle bus wives, what's up? Mom and Don, my two favorite shuttle bus wives. <laughs> what's up? Touring America in a bus, sweating your bananas off. My poor mom. Well, not too, not too bad because she was in Florida. She was like taking pictures, right? It was like almost her payback. She's sending me pictures by the ocean because she knows one of my personal dreams is to live right on the beach. So what she did is she decided to pull up right to the water, hanging out, and that was cool. I was super jealous, right? But then she sends me another one, sweat dripping, pouring sweat. It was like a freaking oven in that van. Matt was her payback. <laughs> That sucker. She was cooking. Cooking. But yeah, good to see you, shuttle bus wives. Any case. Also, my one of my favorite moderators. Um, also, um, Don, speaking of the shuttle bus wives, has helped me single-handedly um, distribute insane amounts of video content across almost every platform imaginable. So, awesome. Also, too, I believe Donna um, <laughs> has been, I, I think she just had an article rank, help me rank an article. Um, so that's been doing very well. They're helping me do articles, helping me crank out content, uh, relaunch the podcast. So, Super helpful ladies right there. Anyway, I'm looking for some content here. Ah, here we go. Robert Hughes, Chris, how would you optimize a website where the service on the site could each be their own GBP category? Okay, so Robert, this, I run into this a lot, um, but bear with me here. Let's get to the second part. Any way to bypass verification for the GBP? Got instant verified ones, think because of Google trusted the account. Thoughts or other tips when I need two to be in a physical location if I add an address? Okay, so I've ran into this quite consistently. I just had a gentleman, um, this was an, another gentleman that we signed up um, you know, to help their business succeed. Uh, he came to me and he wanted to do you know, hydro jet fitting. He wanted to do drain cleaning. He wanted to do plumbing. He wanted to do stuff that was relatively related. But I said, okay, when people, when a normal, who's your avatar? Who generally calls? Well, generally women give me a call. Okay. And do women have, do women or men? I didn't even know, right? It's not a woman, man thing. But what I'm, what I'm getting at here. Is your target demographic, your person that you're actually want you to, to call you, are they looking for hydro cleaning or are they looking for a plumber? They, they, the sale begins when they make the conversion, when they fill out, what do you want them to do? Well, I want them to call me. Okay, you want them to call you, but you'll also take a form, right? Their issue or they just want their problem solved. And okay. 99.9% .9 of people are going to be looking for plumber. Yeah, I'm sure 1% of those people are going to be looking for hydro cleaning. And it, and it was conveyed in the actual search volume. I look up the search volume in Cleveland for plumber, 2,400 searches a month. I look up the search volume for drain cleaning, it was 40 searches a month. So what should we do? We have multiple things that are loosely connected. But what we can do is we can create a very powerful asset for plumber in Cleveland. And on that page, we can mention hydro cleaning, drain cleaning, right? 
because a page ranks for more than one key, more than one keyword. So just want to, I'm sure you guys know this already. All right. Love from India. Love back to you, my friend, from Arizona tonight. Um, I have a strange person looking at me. I'm going to shut this. <laughs> it's just odd. Like, dude, like, just sitting outside, like, watching me. He's probably not watching me at all. <laughs> you know, he's just sitting outside. But still, I could see him. That means he could see me. And, like, dude, I feel some kind of way about that. Here, let's walk over here. All right. Oh, you want to see my room? Sure. There you go. I'll give you the full... So I'd say, how unprofessional. But... I don't care. I, we're sharing some time together here, right? Um, all right, here. I'm just getting some water. What? No, I don't want water. You know what I want? I want a Red Bull. Here we go, baby. Went shopping. There you go. Favorite Greek gods honey vanilla yogurt. Oh, my favorite. And then I have my favorite. Let's see, you guys want to know? You guys are about to find out. Now you know more about me. My favorite Hidden Valley cinnamon granola. Love it. Sugar free yogurt because I'm going to pour granola in there and that has a boatload of sugar. Sugar free Red Bulls. Get your questions in. If there's anything I could help you with, I would be happy to. All right. If you're curious how I could help you, um, it could be local SEO, Google Maps, uh, Google Business Profiles, primarily local though. Local. I'm learning more and more about this video thing. Um, I could potentially be helpful there. Uh, I wouldn't say that I'm an expert by by any stretch of the imagination, but I would consider myself an expert for Google Business Profiles, Google Maps, and local uh, SEO. Um, I have had some minor medium success with affiliate, um, so I could lend a hand there, uh, but the main success has been uh, local, local business. Um, I've, I've heard you know, over the course of time that local SEO is the garbage men of SEO. And I, I didn't like that. <laughs> I disagree with that, uh, in case anybody was wondering. I like it. Um, the complete... When I realized... When my mode of thinking changed to helping as many people as possible, it completely changed and transformed my life. Um, so since I've had that epiphany, um, and also I ha I'm on a new quest. One of the quests that, that I've been on is I've, I've realized by talking to a lot of people, right? See, I, I have my own issues. See, I'll always make right, but sometimes communication can get lost, especially when you're doing a lot of things, right? But I always make everything right, no matter what, right? But what I have found is that not everybody will make right, even, even if it's a week later. And a lot of business owners that will come to me have a very, they're very apprehensive and they're very um, standoffish with, SEO. So I, I don't, I, I would like to help change that thought process of working with SEOs. Um, the other piece is uh, this, the outlandish extra cost, I call it tax, that's on top of services. Just because, you know, there's a saying, right? I never robbed anybody who didn't let me. Just because you can charge somebody a thousand dollars for a backlink doesn't mean that you should. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just disgusting. 
in my opinion, but I'm just one guy, right? So let's, oh, I saw some questions. Cool. All right. I'm here for you, remember. All right. Oh, we have a couple of them. All right. So love from India. I love India. You know, I, I love everybody, right? India, I really, really like. A lot of the gentlemen and ladies that I've worked with in, in India have been very honorable. Um, yeah, love back to you from India, my friend. <laughs> you know? You, another thing I don't like about this camera is it makes my face look fat. You know? I'm not very happy about that. Anyway. All right, where in AZ? I'm in Scottsdale. Well, I'm in Paradise Valley. <laughs> and they're not lying. It's it's gorgeous here. Like, Terry Samuels, he does SEO spring training. I He didn't tell me to say it. I'm not getting paid to say this, right? I didn't get paid for any of this. Uh, but what I will say um, is, man, he did a really good job. Because I've put on my own events and I know how difficult it is to organize everything, get everybody together. Like, it's a, it's in a very nice spot. There's lots of room. There's food here. There's restaurants here. Everything is within a five-mile Uber ride. Uh, he took me to my first Major League Baseball game today. That was part of the ticket. Dude, he's taking us for quads. Like, dude, it's very well planned out. Very well planned out. Now, I'm going to determine the um, information quality, but what I noticed is he, he, the way he has sectioned things out is a lot of the really good information is in what's called a breakout room. So I cleared my phone off here. Um, anything that's really, really good, I want to, I'm gonna send through Fireflies to be transcribed and put into notes. Um, I'll share some stuff. Man. <laughs> hey, I like I like these viewpoints. I'm with you, NFT, and of course, shuttle bus. Thank you. Um, all right, Rob Bob Hughes, gotcha. So, would you recommend for a service business who has services that could be their own GBP category to side on just one then? And then optimize the homepage for that one specific main category. So if your business is only ever going to target one area and you only do one service, then yes, make your homepage about that, right? I have a gentleman I work with in Australia. I'm probably going to make some videos regarding him. He does a, what's called a skip bin right? Uh, waste bin. So he does waste bins in Carnes, Australia, right? I did some work for him previously. We're ranking number four. He's not happy with page one, number four. He wants to be number one. So I said, Hey, you know, it's let me tune it. Um, my team got you to four with some links. Let me tune the page. I'll get you to one, right? For a fee, of course. <laughs> more time. There's just more time. Anyway, I'm going to showcase that. And he only has one service, one location. And I'm going to optimize the homepage for that one keyword, one service. Now, in most cases, business owners actually have more than one service. And they actually want to target more than one location. And even if they have even an inkling of a thought that they're going to expand their proximity... I would not recommend optimizing the homepage around one service, right? Because you're really limiting yourself. Even if your keyword gets 3,000 visitors a month, the top position only gets 26% of the clicks, roughly, on average. So if you retain top spot for the whole year, never, ever move, right? And you know how SERPs fluctuate during the day, depending on searchers. You could be number one, number two, or number three. The top spot only gets 26%. So you have to be very mindful. If you're going to go for one location, one service, like I hope that that is your only plan forever. 
all right? Tropical skips, my guy. Dude, and there he is. <laughs> Number one, baby. Yes. <laughs> well, that's fun, man. He's watching. I See, you're on my mind, dude. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. So try... Uh, all right, so... All right, so any way to bypass it. So I can't share that with you here, okay? Uh, but what I, tomorrow, if you're here, um, not tomorrow, Friday, when I speak, I'm going to share with people how to get a verified service area business. I have, I would say about a 70% success rate. So there you are. All right. Oh, good. So we have some questions here. Gotcha. So, all right. So the next question is Mar Martino Berto. Only homepage and one service page out of six have indexed since November. GC GSC crawled and pending ever since. WordPress templates that others are using, no prob. Any ideas? Only homepage and one service page out of six have indexed since November. Uh, okay. So you, you have your homepage. The homepage always goes, right? Then you have a primary service page that's linked. Um, and then you have other location pages that are the same service. So I don't know what state you're in, but if you have website.com, right? Website.com forward slash primary service and then forward slash primary service plus location, you might be in a niche or an area that Google is rewarding off the route. When I first started this live, I was speaking about a We Buy Houses example that we're in. And we noticed in some of the states, our hard silos were not being rewarded. So take a look. Um, that could be an issue. Oftentimes what the issue is, is you don't have enough A tags on the pages pointing to a page or on the actual page itself. You have to remember, if you take away the design, take away the pictures, right? And look at it in a bot view. There's, there's Chrome extensions that do this, okay? All Google's seeing is words and hyperlinks on the left side down a page, right? Part of the template, part of the count is A tags. And generally, you can determine the the quality of internal linking based on if you start looking at the home page and you look at their primary service page and you start counting a tags how many a tags do they have and how many a tags are optimized like the anchor text is a primary term right internal linking external links coming in that's probably where you're having an issue if it's not that then it's going to be the structure in which the pages are all right also, Google Search Console, they make tons of mistakes. There's always issues, okay? So just because Google Search Console is saying something, what I would do is pull out your phone or go to hide my ASS, right? And do a search or do a search from. Um, like, And look, are those pages there? Do a site colon, see if the pages are there, all right? Uh, but it's probably one of those issues. Internal linking, not enough A tags, not enough optimized A tags, your on-page probably doesn't match what the SERP is. I talk to a lot of people, they're like, oh, my on-page is tight. And then I look, I do a count on top performers, and I'm like, dude, you're not even in range. Like, here's what Google's rewarding. Here's you, right? You need to be very meticulous on giving Google what they're rewarding. Um, so I hope that helps you out, my friend, all right? I, I try to be as elaborate as possible as possible here. I hope that I'm helping you out. Uh, Compass Carpet. Hey, Chris. Hello to you, my friend. Uh, try Elio's yogurt if they sell it where you are. The ones with cookie crumbs. No disrespect to Greek gods, but it doesn't hold a candle. Really? Huh. Well, I'll have to take a look. Men can't be fat. Men are only bulky. <laughs> Yo, what's up? SEO Top G. <laughs> One day. Man, you know, uh, 
I cannot wait to get this gentleman, uh, Gregory Ortiz on. The insights in business that this gentleman had, dude, remarkable. Also, another really good conversation that I had today. I'm, I don't know if I can get her to come on with me, but Dory Friend has a lot of good uh, SEO information. She, she was very fun to talk to today um, on my bus ride. <sighs> Insightful is the term. All right. Hey, Chris, we want to get the number one. Oh, yeah, there's no question, bro. We will be number one. Uh, for personal injury law firm, which one of your services will help boost MAP rankings? Supreme 31. Personal injury. See, I, I, I'm going to give you your answer, of course. Um, I have some insane um, ranking results for personal injury lawyers for some insane terms, right? truck accident lawyer, car accident lawyer. I, I showed one lead gen, like that was a lead generation site that we were doing and selling leads just for fun. Like that was our testing ground, right? Um, but man, see for those clients, I, can, I can't show who it is, where it is, but man, I have some, we have some very good rankings. Now with that being said, you know, we're map pack in DC, map pack in major cities, dude. Ma a lot of major cities, LA. So, well, what do we do? What are the services? Okay. And it doesn't have to be for me, right? You know, do your due diligence. What, what I would, what I would, um, even I even would want you to go be overcharged so then you could see the value that we can provide. But with that being said, what I would look at is the optimization, like, is your optimization right? And that's a magnitude of things, but really it's three main things. Optimize the category, services, products, and the description. Nail that. The next thing that I would look at as far as service is we do a combo of CTR and impressions. That's a service. We call it map CTR, right? That's where we have an edge. Uh, the other piece is the reviews, the consistent reviews, like it's a game changer. Like, yeah, you can get so far with CTR, but when you start dumping in reviews, it's over. Like, that's the formula. Optimize the profile, impressions, clicks, and traffic, plus reviews. Give it 40 days, you'll be up there. Like, I might not be able to get you to three-pack in 40 days, but I guarantee you top seven. There's no question. And then if you give me 60 days, I'll get you in the pack. Sometimes it takes longer, but usually the businesses where we don't get pack rankings or top three, top five is because they don't have the rest of the asset in place. Like their website's new, their website's junk, their website's too old. They don't have any citations. They haven't done any PR. They don't have any social presence. They don't have anything. So I hear whispering, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. Small things distract me, I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to stay focused, right? All right, I'm starting to get tired now. All right, if there's any last questions um, that I can help you with, please feel free to go ahead and put them in. What I'll do is make sure that I jump on each night. I'm gonna try to round up uh, Dre from SEO Video Show. I'll try to round up um, Merlino, maybe Terry Powers, um, I'm going to try to get like a group chat like this. Um, I'll see. I'll talk to the, I, I think that'd be cool. And then do like a round robin, but I want to host it on my channel though, of course. Because how often can I get multiple points of view in a room? It's hard, right? And I think it would be very intriguing and engaging to have a question and then get the opinions of multiple. But let me know what you think about that. I, I, I see. Not only do I do this, but I'm a fan of. I I watch other people. I see what they do. I see how they market. I see what they're talking about. I. 
we'll we'll get go and get trainings to to implement tests on to see if people are full of it, right? So I I like having multiple points of view. So like for me, if I saw a bunch of people chat and people that are notable, dude, that would be sick content, right? So all right, let's get this uh, on the way here. Tropical skips, my guy, good guy. I'm in AZ right now. Your your stuff I'm gonna do myself. So. Um, I know we were super, super fair, um, as far as cost is concerned, but, um, I'm going to handle that myself cause it's a one page. Um, cause I know your goal is we just want to be number one for that one thing. And I'm very confident I can get us there. Uh, plus you gave me the green light to show it. So I don't have any, um, clients that will allow me to showcase one of the things that we're building is a portfolio i have quite a few from multiple industries but i didn't have anybody that would let me show them from au so you'll be one of the first so that'll be cool um so i'm super eager to do that myself and get you that top spot i want to just show like top three rankings and then like show some wild results is the the objective because i pretty much have results in every category at this point um, so yeah. And then it's always disturbing to me. Um, I need, I want to get more people on board to let me show the work in progress. Maybe not everybody, but at least more, uh, because I think that's helpful. A lot of people ask me like, Hey, uh, examples are good, but live examples are better. Of course, more engaging too. I get it. I know. All right. So Ashes says, is it possible to use the same address for multiple GMBs if each is associated with a DBA under the same LLC? We have had some issues getting the businesses verified. The videos are never accepted. I haven't been on YouTube all day and here you are doing a live. <laughs> That's it, man. Um... Is it possible to use the same address for multiple GMBs? Yes, but they have to be different categories. Um, they have to be different categories. There needs to be a variation in name that when you start to type in the name, nothing shows up in the box. What I mean by this is, you know, when you first sign up the business, right? And you start typing a name and it'll say, do you mean this? Do you mean this? Do you mean this? When you start typing, it it can't think that you mean anything that's associated with you. So there needs to be enough of a variation that that doesn't happen. So whether you need to start with a location or whether you need to start with a keep, I'm sure you're creative. So variation in name, different phone number, different category. Can it all be the same business? Of course. Can you have multiple at the same address? Of course. Now, if you don't follow these rules or principles, different name, different phone number, different category, and you're using the same address, oftentimes Google, what they're going to do is reward one, okay? Kind of like this, for instance, I had a, um, a personal injury lawyer that I'm working with. Um, there is a space that's in the center city of, let's say, Philadelphia. It is Philadelphia, okay? Allentown, Reading, right? So they went to a business location that was already, uh, that already had like, it's a, uh, what do they call this? Not a virtual office, but you know, rental space, right? That that's cheap. That's broken down for businesses, but there was already law firms there, personal injury law firms, and they were one of multiples. Okay. And what they did is when you typed in the address, it was rewarding someone else. Okay. Google, Google made a choice. Now, if you search for personal injury lawyers searching from that location, Google has chosen, hey, this is the top dog. Okay? So you have to be very selective on what you put in there so they're looked at as separate entities, right? Because ideally, when somebody's searching in your mile radius, you want all three of your businesses to show up in the map pack, right? So there has to be variation, and Google cannot think it's the same. Hopefully that helps you. Oh. you're the man get some sleep yeah I am I am that's next
The CTR package basically means a setup where the website is clicked through, gets traffic from proxies or real users, and the traffic is on the website. That sounds amazing, but I'm not sure will people share their methods. <laughs> See? You know, take it or leave it, right? But there is no secret, my friend. So will they share their methods? Do they have maybe some hyper unique process? Maybe, maybe. But the fundamentals and the foundation is what continuously and successfully moves the needle, right? The foundations are what is repeatable and dependable to produce results, phone calls, leads, and create dollars for a business with a web presence, okay? Now, are there some times or instances for short periods of time that there's some unique process that potentially could help me achieve a result for a short period of time? Yes, of course. But the longer that you do this, I forget the name that, that said this. I hate while they share their methods. <laughs> the longer that I do this, I quickly realize that instead of chasing, there's no quick, easy, fast, trick, hack, tip, process. There's, there's no magic bullet, zero, that will take you to the top. None, zero, zilch. The only thing that's going to continuously work is if you, if you do the work every single day, create the best content that you can, produce actual, <laughs> you know the process. I'm not going to get into that, but like, no, nobody's going to share a magical trick because there isn't one, you know? So I hope that helps you out. Uh, for local reviews, can you just create Gmails going to local free public Wi-Fi areas? Could you? Yes. Will that work on a few? Perhaps. Um, we have a review service. And the reason why, at least for us, I, don't, I can't speak for anybody else, right? But the reason why the, the cost, the actual retail cost has significantly increased is because the time to curate and buy accounts and keep them active in order to keep the reviews live is exponential. <laughs> like you used to be able to just create an account, sell six reviews with that account and leave it. And maybe, maybe in six months they'd get wiped and then you would just replace, right? You guarantee the review for 60 days. By the time that thing drops in six months, it, there's no concern because you've already built more, right? See, now, if the account isn't active, they're doing cleanouts every 30 days, right? So in order to keep reviews live, I have to keep the accounts live. In order to keep the accounts live, I need to pay for server time. I need to be able to create a process that will keep that account live. And on top of that, However they're doing it, I don't know. Like, to be able to have accounts, unique cookies to be able to create accounts, like, nobody's just giving that up. Like, to buy those old accounts that have activity and then to pass me the activity log and the cookies is a premium cost. And then for me to take that account that I have the cookies, I have the history, I have a five-year-old account that has all the history and everything, right? And then take that, put it into a system, create the same account. Because if this was created in Arizona, I need to have an Arizona IP. I need to create activity in Arizona. Like the process and the time that it takes to get a review to stick and stay and stand. And then on top of it, I'm not even talking about the nuances of, hey, people only want Western names. People only want to see hyper-specific to local. Hey, some people might want a local guide. Like, those are, that's, 
even more effort and even more time. And then that means I can't go and buy 10-year-old accounts or five-year-old accounts that were created in India. I have to buy only U.S. accounts that have been curated. Cost just went up more. The cost and the time to produce reviews that stick now is significantly more difficult. And then to be able to guarantee it for 90 days, it's, it's hard. So to answer your question, could you go and create accounts on a public Wi-Fi and get off a couple? Yeah. But to scale as a service or scale for multiple businesses? No, 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 no. That was a significant investment of time and effort to figure out the process and then to be able to keep that running. Um, very difficult thing. And then on top of it, we have a, a checker, a checker that's always running. It's just a script, but we're checking to make sure that they're live. And then, and then if it drops, you have to be able to replace it with a new unique review content, right? Now I have to write the review again. And then of course I have to keep in mind the location, the service, the entities, like like for me, the days of doing a $7 or a $5 review, no way. Too much time, too much effort, too, there's just, it's just too hard. It's just too hard. And then when Google does come back and crack you, yes, we lose far less. Previously, when we were buying accounts in bulk, dropping 100, we, you know, retain 30% of them. <clears throat> Going back and refilling, that's a pain. Now, if we get cracked, we might lose only 10%, you know? Because we're able to find them faster and then replace them. In any case, I, I digress. I'm sorry. All right. My wife is afraid of changing our business address from our home to our office space. Under the fear we will no longer be verified. Would you say oh, we should just create a new location? All right, Nathan. I've had business owners in the past. Do not, do not, do not get rid of your original location. Okay. If you have a new business address, also, your home, I'm, ass I'm assuming, has not gone anywhere. Create a variant of your name, okay? Lead with the location. Go and get your DBA. Get your business license. Get your ducks in a row just in case because there's going to be closet fans, right? When, when you run up to the top of the ladder, somebody's going to tell on you, Okay. So you want to make sure that when that day comes and you need to re-verify your information, you have your DBAs, you have your bills, you have your point of sales, you have your receipts, right? On top of that, keep your home address. Keep that. And then go and start your new business. But there needs to be a variation in name, a different phone number, and a variation to that description. And ideally, if you can do a secondary category that still ranks for your primary, I would change your category as well. What I mean by this is if I want to rank for plumber, if I search for plumber Houston and I look down the list inside of maps and I look at all the businesses that are ranking in the top three pack, let's just take a look at top 10. Yes, some of the top performers are going to have primary category as plumber, but also there's winners that are there for plumbing contractor. So that's what I mean by picking a secondary category that can still rank for my primary. That's, that's what I mean. So now I have a secondary category in a different location, a modified name, different phone number, different description, keep my initial asset, and then try to allocate some time towards the new one. All right? Don't, yeah. You want both though. And don't ever get rid of that main asset. If that's producing phone calls, do you know how many businesses struggle to get an asset to rank and produce phone calls? Even if it's one a month. Like if you, I have to go to Google and buy it, even in the cheapest niches, it's 40 bucks a call. You, you get what I'm saying? Keep that. So, um, listen, I hate to say this, but listen to your wife, <laughs> uh, keep that there and, and then go and start your new one. All right, brother. Um, I had a gentleman, he was a mortgage, uh, it wasn't a mortgage broker. Maybe it was, it, it doesn't matter what he did. Um, but he had his home and it was winning, right? He was in, uh, Cadbury. I, I forget. Uh, but he went and got his new locale. Dude, he was all ready. He had his DBA. He, he was by the book. 
Uh, but he shut this down and tried to transfer the reviews over. Google was giving him the run of, run of the mill. 45 days later, they finally transferred everything. He got his reviews. That sucker never ranked, and this one was cooked. He didn't get any phone calls. It took him months to recoup. <sighs> Very painful. Anyway, all right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap this up. What time is it? It's 2 o'clock back home. <laughs> it's 11 p.m. now in uh, Arizona. So we're going to wrap this up. I think Shark Tank's on. I love watching Shark Tank. So let's let's wrap this up here. Um, enjoy your stream. I've been doing SEO for 24 years, local and national and worldwide. You're doing a good job. Keep up the good work. Uh, I appreciate you. Thank you, Prominent uh, TV. Thank you. Uh, yes, part of the issue is our GMB and LSA are producing quite a few leads. Awesome. Nathan, rock with both. Sitemap have sub-sitemaps. Thank you, Chris. I thought having one to two links from each service page would be enough, but I'll do more. Some pages said no referring sitemaps, but RankMath created a KLM file location page that made sitemap have sub-sitemaps. Um... You can have more than one sitemap. I, I don't think the sitemap's an issue, but that internal link for passing page rank, for passing juice, two links, you're right there. But in order to showcase to the bot, to Google, how important a page is, you want to increase the amount of internal links. Internal links convey importance to a page. Okay? So... Uh, spike that up if you can. All right. All right. I guess that's it. Get some sleep. Local reviews. All right. Man, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I, I truly appreciate you taking the time tonight. I hope that I've been helpful. If there's ever anything that I can do for you, ask a question below. We answer all the questions that are relevant, right? I get a lot of interesting things. When I'm away, I'm, I haven't been as active maybe in the last two days, but I, I hit all the questions. Sometimes I even make videos. Ask your questions below. If there's anything I could help you with, you need a second set of eyes, consultations, anything, go to chrispalmer.org. I have everything over there. I'm not here to pitch. I have everything, okay? Um, information is at seomastermind.org. chrispalmer.org for service. seo.org if you need information. YouTube, information, and anything I can help you with, I'm here to help. So thank you for your time. Many blessings. I will see you tomorrow for the YouTube Mastermind. Maybe, depending on how I feel, I'll do another uh, video. Um, but yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Have a good night, by the way. Now, if I could figure out how to shut this off. No. <laughs> I love you guys, man. Thank you so much for giving me the time. Good night. I love you guys. Bye-bye.